Okay, this video is going to um, cover everything you need to know for um, importing and exporting information for, let's see here, what is it for? Uh, this module four assignment number two instructions. Um, this is actually a real easy program, but um, new students find new, new new programming students find it to be one of the hardest so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to demo um, one of the programs in the book and then you guys should be able to use that information to be able to do this project pretty easy so um, in order to do this you need to go to um, your course and open up your e-text and we'll open up the accompanying the Java programs to accompany programming logic and we're going to go to this right here I actually have it open in another one but I'm going to just walk through this thing step by step with you guys so this chapter is chapter seven, I believe. All right, table of contents. So yep, chapter seven, file handling. And we'll just go in here. So you guys should be reading this whole chapter, but I am going to scroll down to the end and show you the code that I grabbed from here. The, books ha the book has most of the examples and then the homework is ex you're expected to create from scratch. All right, so where is this? This is page, page 119. So all I did is I created an employee raise. Uh, and I might have called it main employee raise, but just the employee raise um, code, okay? So you guys can copy that in and create your own, okay? And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to uh, um, I'm going to switch over to my NetBeans where this is programmed in, okay? All right, so a few things here. And this is the hardest thing for um, students to understand. Um, well, another thing, too, is you're going to ask, where did you get the employee employees.txt file and the new salary 2018? Okay, so this is where I found this. You're going to need to go into content in your course page and you go down to data files there should be the employees text file that you'll need for this thing and what you'll do is you'll you'll save it to your desktop all right so you go in here, all right, it's a zip file, you download it. I already downloaded mine, so I'm gonna just open mine up. You open it up, go into data, it's chapter seven, and there's your employee raise.java file. That's just the uh, beginning of this. All right, so I don't know, it's actually the whole thing, okay? So the, what you'll do is you'll just create a new file like normal, file, new program, okay, new program, and then you'll say next, and you'll just call it employee raise. So I'll just do this, employee, um, employee, what'd they call it? Employee raise with a capital. Okay, so there it created for you. 
And then all you'll do is you'll just take this information. There's a couple things in here you'll want to do. You'll, I'll just copy this whole thing, Control C, and then there you go, paste it in there. Okay. Now the only thing is. I'm going to go back to mine that I created. What's called mine. Call my main employee raise. Yeah, here we go. This is mine, all right. So this file is just going to be a blank text file. Okay, so um, if it's not, see I was just testing mine, so I can just do that. So it's just a blank text file, save. There's nothing in it, okay? Um, then what you'll do is you'll get your employee text file, and you'll save that to your desktop, okay? So if you look at my desktop, I should have the employee here we go I've got my employee text that text file which has all my employees their last name first name and what they make okay you downloaded that from your um, zip folder from your data files Okay, and the new salary should have nothing in it, all right? Now, the big thing here is if I right-click, eh, let's see here. No. Let me see something if that's going to do it real quick. No. Let's see if that will work. Yeah, okay, cool. So what you need to do is you right click on where you're at, where these folders are saved. Are these files so this in our sorry the employee text and the new salary 2018 they're saved on my desktop so what I do is I right click that and I go to properties okay all right so those files are saved in this folder so you'll copy that control C okay and notice what I did here um, and you can control V will paste it and notice I have C colon slash users slash MC Lee and then you got to do slash desktop on there okay um, this is where these files reside now you have to use double slashes in this thing for it to not think of it as a escape sequence because like escape T is like a tab Escape N is a new or, or a dash T is a tab a dash N is like a new line um, But in, so this is what it would look like so when you're doing your homework When you're doing um, This uh, sorry, which one is it this one you'll have your your inventory uh, And your inventory needed text files and you'll just have them saved to your desktop, okay? And so what this thing does here is it is it reads the file and it's going to write it's going to read the information from this file and it's going to write the new information to this file, okay? And so while the first line is not null, then what we'll do is we'll read in the next line the last name, the salary will be put in here. Um we parse it as a double and then we create a new salary where we increase it uh, the salary by uh, in our variable it's two or whatever it is so we can increase our salary by two and then we just print the information to this new one right here so right now if I open up this uh, um, 
new salary 2018 there's nothing in there okay there's nothing in there so after that after I run this now let me show you the data for this real quick it says Brown Tom so it, this guy's name's Tom Brown and he makes 2000 okay let's see what happens after we run this and if there's no problems I mean I've tested this before many times Okay, now it says Tom Brown, 4,000, all right? And if you didn't like how it was it was Brown Tom, I changed it, but you could, you know, just, I, you know, switch it back. It's not a big deal. So, um, anyway, the big thing is it changes that. So, um, this should be pretty easy for you. All you're doing is you're just doing a different type of program. You're reading in information and then you're going to change some stuff up on it so um, but the, the the main code that you'll need is just this kind of stuff right here okay and then you'll just be reading inf information in and then writing it out so um, that's that